When Carolina Villanueva delivered her son Gabriel two months premature, Dr. Lynn Jacobs was at her side, offering the frightened young mother much needed encouragement and hope. I was the one who held her hand when she was sobbing, having her baby way too early. When I saw her, I felt better because I know she was going to help me and she was going to tell me what's going on. And she explained to me that he was going to be okay. There's not a better feeling than coming into work and knowing that I'm going to see people who really need me. Since 1975, Virginia Garcia has been a health care home that provides high quality, culturally appropriate health care services to individuals and families in Washington and Yamhill counties. These are individuals who oftentimes don't know where to turn. The patients Virginia Garcia serves are Oregonians from all walks of life with diverse backgrounds that often struggle to break barriers of culture, language, or income in an effort to access high quality, affordable health care. A tribute to a young migrant girl who died needlessly from a treatable infection, the Virginia Garcia Memorial Health Center provides over 110,000 office visits to more than 30,000 patients a year at four primary care clinics, three dental offices, two school-based health centers, and a mobile clinic. The organization actively builds relationships in the community it serves and maintains a vital mobile outreach program to promote good health to migrant and seasonal farm workers. We need to help those people, but there are other people in the community that are struggling that we also need to help, and, and the only way we can help is by being open and being able to provide these services. The services provided by the health center are comprehensive and driven by the specific needs of patients. Today, Virginia Garcia is recognized as a catalyst for change by designing innovative best practices programs such as primary care renewal, an approach in which health center staff works as a multidisciplinary team in set groups that treat the same patients each time to better manage a patient's health care needs, connect with them as individuals, and provide a high quality health care home. Our patients are truly grateful. I see it in their eyes every time I do a delivery and they invariably grab me and say, thank you so much, Dr. Gracias, Dr. Thank you so much for being here. That connection is something that I carry with me forever. The critical services of Virginia Garcia can continue only as long as individuals are willing to invest time and resources into sharing Virginia Garcia's vision for a healthy community. It's really exciting to be a partner with such a committed organization. They're good partners. They deliver on their collaboration. They're a gift to the community. It's well known that Western Washington County is a very, uh, a very good place to live and raise your family. And this is a critical piece of that because we're providing health stability for families and children and, and communities in a way that may not exist everywhere else. There should be health care for all and that, and that people shouldn't be denied health care. Thursday, we submitted a federal application for stimulus dollars to construct a new Cornelius Clinic. The fact that we care about your health, we care about you as individuals, we care about this community, we care about this community so much we're going to build a new clinic here and we're going to really make it a wellness center. We want to focus on people's the part of their life that is going well and help them bring the part that's not going well into a space where they feel good about their lives. A new clinic will double capacity for providing primary care services to those who need it most in Washington and Yamhill counties. And within the first two years of operation, increase these essential services to another 5,200 patients. 5,200 more patients who will have a health care home, who will have a team of providers and health educators and others working alongside of them to ensure that they remain healthy. It is the best leverage investment in your community you can make. Support from, from individuals helps us accomplish our, our mission of ensuring that everybody in our community um, has access to high quality, comprehensive care. That is an enduring gift. 
Little did six-year-old Virginia Garcia know of the legacy she created, a legacy that is helping generations of families live positive, healthy lives with dignity. Dignity is what Virginia Garcia is about. It's about giving people hope and uh, taking care of a child before it's born and a mother and the condition that they provide to the community in terms of, of raising the level of dignity is just, is just um, part of what they are. It's, it's in their soul. You know, Virginia Garcia died needlessly. I mean, I think that this is a, was a preventable uh, illness that she had that could have been taken care of. Having her as the inspiration, I think, is what really makes us who we are.